look, you guys were getting your starts, you were hustling, you're young. Could you have imagined getting that start, getting into this wildly popular series in a time where social, me social media was present? Nope. It would, yeah, I mean, it would be so different. I'm so glad that we got to experience yeah. working on the show the way that we did. We, mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was just so lovely, and it would be so very different yeah. today, yeah. But would it even, like... Could, it even, could, it, could a show like that even happen and that kind of phenomenon happen now? I just don't think it could. Why do you say that? Because, you know, part of what was great about that show was that people were watching it at the same time together mm -hmm. yeah. or at least talking about it the next day. Melrose parties. Yeah. It was event television. Yeah. You were getting together. That's my parents were telling me, yeah. you can't watch that tonight. Oh, but I'll somehow watch it with some of my friends. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was event television. There wasn't TiVo or anything like that. So if you missed it, you missed it. Yeah. And so that's why they had the parties. You know, you're, we were all shooting all together in this kind of little bubble and we got to hang out and know each other a little bit more than we would have now because I've been on shows now and everyone's sitting around on those same director chair, cast chairs, but they're all on the phones. Right. So it's just different. Everyone's, yeah. there was no outlet to the world outside. Like if we were all shooting a movie together and this was a soundstage, there wasn't like outlets to the outside. You're all stuck together. Do you know what I mean? And I think that just really added to the chemistry and the bonding together for, mm -hmm. you know, 32 episodes a year. I said to take yeah. it off. Shreds before I see you wear it. You just can't take the fact that I'm better than you. I'm curious, would you guys mind taking us back to your auditions? What do you remember about the process? Did you end up getting the character that you originally read for? Who were you competing against for your role at the time? Any I, of you? I, yeah, I remember mine. I, it, it was just, it, it was during the time when they used to do pilot season, so you were reading for tons of stuff. Yeah. And it was fairly normal reading process where, you know, I went and you end up reading like three or four times. But before I got to what they call the screen test, I had read it maybe three times. And then you're, you're going through all around town and you're reading for other things. And it seemed like every place I went to, in the office next door, they were reading for Jake again. It's like they're reading Jake over here. They're reading Jake over there. So I must, it must have been hundreds of people reading for Jake. Wow. And then you get your screen test. And I don't know that anybody else was in on my screen test. I don't remember. I think it was just me. But I don't really remember that part. Anyone else remember? Only you, Grant. My, yeah, so I don't know if I came in toward the end or whatnot. I just did one interview, and I had two other offers at the time. Ah, oh, well, and excuse so me. That's why I'm wondering if I came in at the end, and then I think they wanted me as Jane. Yeah. And so then I, it was like, well, if, if they didn't make an offer, I would have taken yeah. one of the other shows. And so um, that, that's how it happened for me. So and cool. It's like, yeah. just meant to be? It was meant to be. Anybody yeah. else have a fun audition story? I lived with the creator of Melrose Place, Darren <laughs> Starr, many years before, eight years before. And we didn't sleep together. He's gay. And I was, Not he wasn't my type. Uh, so um, anyway, so he called me and said, we're bringing on a new character. And that's how Joe came from New York. And he wrote a little scene. And it was, it was really great. It, it, is. Cool. it was really fun. Amanda, let me cut right to the chase. What the hell is going on between you and Jake? Good morning to you, too. And Heather, you were originally signed on for four, but your character was super special. At what point oh, did yeah. you realize, ooh, there is something special here about this spicy character? Yeah, that was weird, because they didn't give her a lot of spice in those first four. And I did go in to meet um, Aaron Spelling, or to see him. I don't know if I knew him then. So it, it, she was kind of boring, too. And so I go, oh, let's, and I tried to pretend with Aaron, well, what do you want? And I'm like, you know, this is what I want to play is someone like this, which I didn't. I'm just like, I, whatever you say, I'll do, I'll read. Um, so then it ended up being like 13 episodes after that. Then uh. it was kind of on and on. What? You were only hired for 13 episodes? Four. Four. For, I, I thought you I, came, I thought that was like, my, 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 my perception of it at the time was, you're on. Yeah, no. It's four. No, yeah. Four episodes. I'm like, oh, I'm not dead yet. Okay. Very and good. then look. So. <laughs> and then look how it yeah. evolved. Not have done going over well. Four episodes. No, we don't need her back. Thank you. Do you always get what you want? 
Grant, I got a question for you, buddy. Now, I know that you yeah. had to turn down a role in Thelma and Louise. That I did role... not turn that role down. Okay. Well, clear. No chance set that I set that the role record down. straight for us, then, Grant. I was Grant. doing another job, and they interfered. So, it, so was it Melrose Place? That Brad Pitt did in Thelma and Louise. I was casting. They they offered the role to me. Right. And I it was like one of the best scripts I'd ever read, and it was the one of the most cherry roles I'd ever read. And I knew that whoever got whoever did this job was going to have you know three or four shots at being a movie star. Yeah. I absolutely wanted to do that role, but I was doing something else that was just some dumb thing. Probably one of the first things I ever did because I needed money. And two days overlapped, and they wouldn't. Um, You're telling me production could not have worked that out, so you could have done both, or you couldn't have put your foot down to say, "I have you know, to." I, if I could go back and tell the kid that I was anything, I would say to him, "Let him sue you. Go do the job." I, but, I, but at the time, I'm like, no, I, I, I said I would do this other job. I can't do it. There'll be another opportunity. Yeah. You know, there was never an opportunity as sort of cherry as that, but. You know, who knows what would have happened if I'd have done that? Yeah, shoulda, woulda, coulda. You can only speculate. I and yeah. I did not turn it down. Okay, he there said the record straight. There were actors turned it down before me, though. Who I were those actors? Spill the tea, Grant. Who were those actors? Anybody that turned that role down was a fool. <laughs> who else? So who else turned the role down? I'm not going to tell you. I just said they were I'm, fools. We're just chatting, <laughs> chatting amongst friends. I want to get the scoop. Come on. But y'all, of course, we've got more exciting news coming out of Melrose Place because there is a reboot in the works. <laughs> Yes, and we are so pumped for this. Heather, Laura, Daphne, you guys are attached to the project, correct? Well, everyone has agreed to do it. We're all attached. We've, Laura and I have worked on this for a little bit now. And I just want to tell everybody that that actually was a leak. That Oh, really? Um, so it, it is in talks. They're, they are, you know, business affairs and lawyers and all those types are talking about it, and they do want to do it. So, uh, but that was a little premature. So we're still waiting for them to get through their damn talks so we can all start to really have fun. But, but that a, is the truth of the matter. Yeah, it's a very now. real conversation. It's definitely in the works. Okay. But there's yeah. a lot of moving parts and pieces and all the stars need to align and yeah. we want it as much as we believe the fans want it. So we're working yes. on it. <laughs> for sure, right? So that was there was a little leakage that happened on that front to get that. That happens all a little the time. excitement, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's pretty amazing because we are we all are available. We all are want to do it. I mean, the timing's perfect. So fingers crossed, and I yeah, love that. Yeah, so much fun. Okay, so but this is still give it up. Come on, don't hold back. So it's still initial stages, or we're we're not even to the to the area of like scripts yet. Well, we, we can't really talk about where we are in oh. the details. Just know that it's a serious I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to get a little thing, extra something. It's in the something. works in a very real way. And okay. we cannot wait to tell you more when we can. 